Hey guys, here's a quick demo on how to flash these ePaper displays. The way is to open up the back here with a soldering iron and sticking your three pogo pins through it with a UART to USB converter or the other way around. And it's really as simple as using three of these the USB to UART converter and yeah, a small PCB. And just to give an example on how it looks inside, we can see here the SWS pin, the reset pin, and the GND pin is what we need. But you need to be careful on some these uh, SWS pin and the reset pin are exchanged. So you may want to open one up beforehand and check out the position. But otherwise, you can take such a paper with the measurements. And let's see if the camera gets hold like this. So you want to align this paper, which you may be able to download later. So we mark the points where we want to stick the soldering iron through. If the yeah, pin would write. Yeah, okay, let's do it with a tweezer then. Just need to mark the right position. Like so. And now we can just stick the soldering iron in. And yeah, Alexa, stop. Sorry about that. That was strange. Seems like Amazon wants to listen in and also know how to do it. So we stick it in like so, like so. And here is a bit of plastic in the way. So we need to do it a bit longer, but otherwise that's it. And I will directly clean the soldering iron as otherwise the tip may get damaged. So like that, we can now take a look inside. It does not seem to be aligned perfectly. So I will um, do it once more. So let's do it a bit bigger here and a bit more to the left on this pin here. That looks better. We now see the gold parts everywhere. It makes no real difference. And we can now cut away the excess material so it will not look as bad like so. We see the Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Okay, so I should not say this word again. We can then stick in the yeah, three pogo pins. And it's perfectly aligned in the end with the 2.54 millimeter spacings. And one is two holes apart and the other one is three holes apart. So we stick it in and the blue LED should light up while flashing. And on the PC, I'm opening the Flasher website and select the COM port that we yeah, have connected the uh, USB to UART converter. And I will now click on Unlock Flash. And as you can see, it was only shortly flashing up. And this means on this, the pins are rotated the other way around because now we are only resetting shortly. It's hard to explain, but now the SWS and reset pin needs to be exchanged. I will quickly do this as well. In the future, if there is a real flasher with like an ESP32 or th something, 
um, the detection of reset pin can even be included so it will switch it automatically. So now we have exchanged it and yeah, plug it in again, turn it around and re pressing the unlock flash and you can now see that it is uh, longer on. I will now select the file to flash and yeah, we'll uh, write it to flash. And you will see it blinking up every now and then. And if the frame rate is fast enough, you could even now see the data that is transmitted. This is now every byte packet sent to the microcontroller inside. And it's now done. The flashing is done and we can yeah, leave the programmer. And we can also see that now the screen is refreshing to the custom firmware with open ePaper link. And yeah, the PCB should now also, or the access point, the open ePaper link access point will now also find a new device, which yeah is then possible to be used as a normal open ePaper link device. And just to show that as well, I draw something simple in the access point which should be sent to the display in a few seconds. There we go. That was the quick demo of converting this ePaper price tag to an open ePaper link ZigBee display. See you next time.